Welcome back everybody to another great episode of the Geek Tech Show. In today's video, we are going to be checking out two different kind of shoes and figuring out which is the best one for you to actually get for the year 2020. The Air Max 95 versus the Air Max Tail Wing number 4, 5. <laughs> five. Anyways, here they are those shoes and in case you really enjoyed this show make sure you subscribe to it lots of other cool features coming very soon to this channel so with that look what we have here oh yeah the Nike oh this is awesome I can't believe this and you know what no longer made in Vietnam Oh, China, yeah, Indonesia, well, not USA, but who cares. Now, we're gonna go and check out those awesome shoes and let you know which is the better version for you to get. You know, one thing I hate about shoes is those stupid things they always put into it. It is 2020, time to get some high tech things other than those Christmas stuffers in here so we have those really nice shoes here and I'm gonna do two out inspection of them including the famous sniffing test oh. I don't know it doesn't even smell like anything <laughs> that's actually surprising but you know what better no scent than some nasty really nasty smell that I had in a previous shoe now it's gonna be a link right down below in case you want to see the stinky shoe review and those are really nice the Air Max right here so what are they sporting here for us well they're sporting those very beautiful right here air packets you, you know those are the Air Max 95 the cool things I used to wear in the 90s 95 probably from the year 1995 but there is and they come in so many different wide variety of colors and different kind of styles this is the one that I see here right now next test the bending test and you know what this thing doesn't bend at all maybe because I'm trying to bend two of them I try to bend one of them and yet it's not bending it is not bending it's like a piece of solid rock glued all together so I don't know I think it's a good thing or a bad thing uh, let me know right down below now the shoe itself feels the material feels good like I actually feel like this is maybe justifies in a hundred dollar shoe sometimes those shoes feel like cheap this thing got some weight to it you can even like chuck it up and down now let's check what is inside. Sometimes those things don't even come out from the inside. And this is I don't know. I don't know about that. It does work really good as a fan, by the way. Right inside here there's some some white thing right there. Like it's kind of soft too. This is new. I haven't seen this before. I always like to open those just to see first of all if it comes out. That's a that's an important thing because the shoe that doesn't let this come out and it doesn't go back in, that's a bad shoe by the way. You don't want something like this at all. You want to get a shoe that you can't take this out in case you want to go ahead and change it. Next thing, you know what's missing? The pumps from the 90s. Like if you could pump this up that would, be, that would be like a really cool thing the sneaker itself pretty easy to untie here and we have this right here I like this because it feels like snaky and there's actually a snake version of it too now unfortunately this doesn't sport too much weather to it like, like side weather but as I feel it I don't know this got this kind of like plastically uh, man-made weather material it doesn't feel like original weather to this so I'm, I'm not too fond of this new age material here that I see here 
I don't know if it is all leather or not. It's hard to tell by the grip. This is definitely not leather right here. This is not and just a little bit on the side. It looks like it might be like a little bit of leather on this side here. I don't know. This is hard to tell with this. This is like rubble surface right there. Um, might be like leather over here. It's hard. It's super hard to tell if this is like PK or like which is like fake leather or if it is, uh, which is actually stands for synthetic leather, or if it is real. The shoe itself is pretty good. And also, if this one is made like the human body, just the way it is the whole design here. It is kind of like the exoskeleton system right here. And you can see like the whole spinal cord going <laughs> right through the actual shoe itself. So yeah, this is a overall, I mean, it is great shoe. But now it is time for us to put this on and to check it out. But before we go ahead and do that, we're going to be checking out the next version here, which is the Tail Wind 5. So let's check this one out. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh this is cool, by the way. You know, they did a great job. This new factory, by the way, no more scented things to here. Let's see what it is made out of right here. Also made in Indonesia. Great job, by the way. This place seems like it doesn't have any toxic to it. No toxic smell to the shoe itself. And also, why do you do this, Nike? Rid of these stupid things. Now, this is definitely authentic, by the way. I bought this directly from Nike. You can also buy it directly from Amazon, and it's going to save you a bunch of money. Now, also, if you want to save a bunch of money, it's going to be a link right down below where you can make a loads of money on Amazon, like I do right now. So check it out too. Now, those shoe itself right here. This is classic. I, 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 I don't know. This is, this is just, this is going to be like a collector's item. I, I can feel I'm actually holding into something that soon enough, there's going to be none. None of those shoes. This is like an all USA version made for the 2020 Olympic Games. That's what they were thinking when they made this. So we have right here, like a really nice, um, kind of a suede look looking thing here. Now this looks so cool. I don't even want to get this out of here but I just want to see if it does come out so let's check it out does it come out it gotta come out no it actually it, it does come out but I'm not gonna risk it it just feels like it was like put right in place right inside and if you're getting those shoes you're gonna rip it up if you're gonna be putting this out. So this one of those shoes that it's not gonna really come out the the whole inside of it. Next thing here, yeah, we got the famous pumps. We got the L L Max right here, Max L right there on the bottom. You know this is authentic when it has the the Max L right in here and the actual logo is just printed everywhere on those shoes. Nike logo right here, there was like miniature Nike logos all over the actual shoe itself. It smells fresh, it looks good, and it doesn't bend. This is strong, strong, super strong. Now, this material itself is a little bit more superior than the other shoe. It just feels right, just in your hand and everything, ergonomics just the way it looks and I don't know this is like like a really cool looking shoe if you want to like impress somebody on a date and you put this on you're like whoo what is this you have on like I got the Air Max I got the Air Max I like the coolest dude here so we have the Air Max right here and we have this other shoe right there um this is the 95 this is the Air Max uh, Tailwind and you know what this just looks so much cooler than this. This is like a fucking and this like uh -huh. after you see this, you're like who cares about this other shoe? This is definitely the winner already, just by looks by itself. Now, a few other things about this shoe that I really like. Not only it has this cool looking style over here, it got 
the fins, the shark fins that go all the way down. It's like, it's like, it's it's like a living organism right there. It got, it can breathe from both sides. It just feels like it has those air vents right on this side of the shoe itself. Now, this is just cool, by the way. I don't know, I don't know about you, but this shoe just feels, I don't know, it, it feels like got my style here. And you know what? This is all USA version too. White, blue, and red. All American version of those shoes. And it is like going all over the shoe itself, including on the top here. It says USA right there. I kid you not. They actually made this an American version. I don't know if you can see it right here, but this has the American flag right on the shoe itself. So let's go ahead and put this on and see if this is actually feels as good as it looks. In fact, what I'm going to be doing is something brand new here. I'm going to be putting both of those shoes on at the same exact time. So we can tell which of those feels better. Let's find out. So putting both of them on, the Tailwind and the 95, now you can really tell the big difference between them. Because now I feel it. I actually feel it in my feet. And I tell you right off the bat, this just doesn't feel as good as this one. It doesn't. The Air Max 95 has a few issues that this shoe, the Tailwind, perfected and it actually solved. So think of it as the evolution. This was version 1. This is actually the newest version of the same exact shoes. So first off, the first issue that I have right off the bat is how tight this actually feels. This feels good on my foot. Now as I can, this feels a lot more tighter. I don't understand this is basketball shoes and yet a little bit too tight here is just not a good thing. So this is for you to keep in mind when you're wearing something like this. The second factor is right here and it comes with the actual shoelace, which doesn't seem to be lacing as good as this thing right here. So this lace is excellent, this doesn't. Other than that, you can't really tell that much difference except in the way this feels when you're walking on it. It feels you can easily slip just like this and really hurt your foot big time. This shoe doesn't actually have it. I don't know why. This seems like the evolution of this shoe. It seems like the better version. So right off the bat, I'm telling you, this is the shoe for you to get. This one, a few really big issues with a small, with, I mean, good shoe, but looks aside, I'm not putting looks as well as the utility of it. So although this is supposed to be the utility shoe, this is actually better shoe overall in terms of quality, markmanship, and you're not going to actually hurt your foot by accidentally sidestepping, which is actually seems to be so easy for this to do. Not sure why, not sure what's going on and why it actually does that, but it, it, this feels a lot more natural, just the way it looks and feels as well. You can see between both shoes how they look. And yeah, this seems to be standing out like the cool looking shoes. So let's go ahead and take this off and put down them individually just to see how they look 360. So you can get your own feel how this actual shoe looks. And if you want to go have your own pair for yourself. Which one should you be getting for yourself? So you can see they're lined up within and next to each other. So you can kind of tell the difference between those two. Now let's go ahead and examine them a little bit up close. So we can tell a bit of more about those shoes. The texture itself of those, the Nike L95 is just a little bit more rough and you can feel it as you touch it. This actually is made to be basketball shoes, so they're not made to be stylish. Also, the following is more like a walk kind of shoe, so you're wearing in style a walk kind of a shoe. Over here you can see the orange accents and the texture itself 
is speaking along with the style all around the shoe and it goes all the way to the back including all the way to the whip cage which is outlined right in the back they do squeak kind of funny too the shoe itself does sport very good traction overall so this will help you grip those basketballs or whatever else you need to grip when you walk around the all red apples and also with man-made material all around the actual shoe itself talking about different kind of apples and everything else the tongue itself is also very good and the way this actually is insulated this should help you keeping those shoes waterproof as well it does say our max on the top the only thing it is missing is the pump over here which i wish they do they did bring it back from the 1990s on the other hand the our max we have this the tail spin shoes over here which are really awesome by the way the way they feel the way they look and they have soft stitching and texture all throughout the entire shoe which is something that makes those shoes very nice and nice looking eye candy as well over here you can see the lip cages the nike logos and of course if you look right inside you can see very interesting looking design right here which is unique and different you don't actually get to see this in most shoes especially those made by nike itself so this is a usa version of it and you can see over here it even emphasized the usa and american flag and it says nike athletics in fact i think those are kind of the shoes that will be worn for the 2020 olympic games there is a little bit of too much nike logo all around the shoe itself but this does not take away from something that i think is a perfection by itself those shoes are not only very nice and stylish looking they also feel very good on your feet as well also over here you can see right there the bottoms themselves sport a very good kind of a grip over here that will help you gain a lot of traction in different kind of conditions and terrains so right off the bat those shoes have a few issues that I really don't seem to like as much and here are the following the laces themselves gotta go those laces are super cheap they don't feel right they don't feel good and even if you're touching it you feel like this is like inferior super cheap material when everything else looks really expensive and good so if you have a different pair of laces that's the first thing that should definitely go when you get those shoes next thing no matter what i do they don't keep tied very well as you can see right here this is going to untie itself super easily now as i said this is a little bit more tight the tightness after a while goes away so that's the good news the bad news they're still a little bit slippery when it comes to traction you can easily twist your feet because of something here i'm not sure what it is it just seems like the design by itself is flawed in the way that this shoe was actually made now when it comes to looks look pretty good they also do bend just a bit not not much because they're very very uh high tech and just the way the shoe is made by itself it doesn't seem to be bending as easily as other shoes that i have tested when i have used them on the back end that's how it looks up here in case you want to see and this is the big thing i know people really want to see how the shoes look on the feet and you can see right here how they look like and you can see how the bottom actually looks like as well right there too now let's go and do a jumping test and yeah this is pretty good i don't feel any shocks when i'm jumping on them super high jump by the way feels good i mean i landed right there and didn't feel anything either so yeah definitely good shoes for basketball except for a bit of issues that i don't know for me this is a game changer i don't like those and if i don't like them they're going back i'm, I'm not wearing something that i potentially could trip or have an accident happen to me on the other hand maybe for you those will be the shoes that you like try them out in store and see if you like them if you can get a pair of, of course you can get them from amazon 
Prime as well well you can go for Amazon wardrobe and you can try out a bunch of seven different shoes and see which one is great for you and then return them the ones you don't like and the ones you like you can just keep let's go ahead now and go to the next pair and see how they look and how they feel so those are okay so tightness experienced right about here in just a bit but not too bad overall feel they feel secure you'll feel secure in them which is the good thing if you're playing basketball you need a secure pair of shoes for you to start playing hoops so yeah those are awesome i know i've been a little bit discriminating by saying those are cool shoes when i just saw them and guess what on the feet they feel awesome not great not good awesome that's the way I describe it. It's like the perfect slippers to put your feet right in and you don't even feel like you have the shoes on, which is the way you should feel with a great pair of shoes. So let's get started reviewing those shoes, by the way. This feels, those laces feel a little bit better than the Air Max ones. In fact, this is an upgrade to the lace system itself. They feel a lot more high quality, superior, and much better as well. Another thing about them is that they seem to be laced a little better too. Now, if your feet don't actually foot, don't actually go in very well, what you're going to be doing is just giving a little bit extra right here and you can actually go ahead and readjust your foot. And so one size should fit most, which actually means if you're size 9 like me or whatever size you're in, your foot should naturally feel right inside of your shoes. You can see how beautiful it looks like on the bottom too. Very nice by the way. The shock fins on this side, like the grills themselves. This is cool. I like it. I like the style. This is like the shoe you wear when you are dating somebody. You're going out on a date or you're going out in style. This will get some attraction attention from other people they will be complimenting you what are those shoes or american or usa version i like it now other thing about those shoes themselves is the feeling too feel nice nice quality quantity oh, shoe quality of the material itself this feels like a hundred dollar shoe and it doesn't feel like a cheap shoe People will know you're wearing some nice shoes. They're not gonna think, oh, this is another cheap pair of something you just put on. Nope, this looks great. It looks good. It looks that it's gonna be someday a collector's item. I can smell the hundred dollars on those shoes. Price tag going up exponentially. Get yours while you can because they are cheap right now. Hundred dollars if you find them on sale, even better. So on the back, this is how it looks like over here. The pumps, you can feel them as you're walking. Let's see, jumping test. Yeah, very good shocks. Let's see, higher jump test. Ooh, very good. Don't feel anything. That's how you should feel when you're jumping. Now I'm not Michael Jordan, by the way, but who knows, maybe that was very close to it. <laughs> Whoa, almost fell down. Anyway, the shoe itself feels good, feels great, and it doesn't feel like you will accidentally hurt yourself with those shoes, like the previous version, so definitely thumbs up on that. I don't know, there's nothing really bad about those shoes, I don't feel anything wrong with them. I like the way they look and anything. Well, there is one thing I don't like, a little bit right here, this thing is just sticking out, it's just a little bit here. This doesn't seem to have this issue, maybe I got a little bad copy here. So this could be it. Other than that, no other issue, nothing else. This shoe is perfect, 10 out of 10 in my book. And if you want to get yours, make sure you use the link right down below. You can get those super cheap on Amazon and try them out with Amazon Prime. Thank you so much for watching and getting all the way to the end of this video. And if you did enjoy this Geek Tech show, make sure to go ahead and press on the bell sign because then you don't miss any single video because it's gonna ring in your mailbox and you know exactly when another great episode of the Geek Tech show is getting started. So let's go ahead and now check out and let you know what are my 
reviews and the final verdict for those shoes. So this one, the LMX 95, is eh, eh, eh. Don't like it. I don't know, I don't have 10 style. This is going to be maybe a 5. If you can get those cheap on a garage sale as a gift, I wouldn't turn those down. But buying themselves over a hundred dollars, this is not worth it for the few things that I have issue with. Now, on the other hand, every single pair of those that I have tried on didn't work for me. So I'm gonna give this a hard pass and I'm gonna be putting those in a eh, 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 dumpster. Anyways, the next thing, next pair. The ultimate winner of this matchup is this, and I like those shoes. The Tailwind number 5 wins it once again. I didn't win it before, but it wins it once again. Now, number 5 version, not only it feels great on your feet, it looks good, and above all, I like the way it is looking so great i really think this will be the next collector's item on nike so get a hold of those before this version all usa version is made for the 2020 olympics is going to get sold out i could easily see this topping 300 dollars for people who then grab them while they're cheap not only this is a 10 style shoe in my opinion it is also something i totally recommend for you to own it feels good it looks good and above all this is a great shoe for you to get. Thank you so much for watching the Geek Tech Show. Hopefully you enjoyed another great episode of it. And I want to see you inside of another lecture. Hit the subscribe and the thumbs up button in case you did like this show. And in the bottom, let me know what you think of those shoes and which one you'll be getting today, tomorrow or in the future.